know, you love these things. Fun fact, you guys bought Bella four or five of these balls throughout the year. So, she thanks you. Welcome everyone, you're in for a good video, I think. So not only are we gonna answer some questions that so very many people ask about YouTube in general, not just our channel, but just YouTube channels in general, we're gonna show you what we made last year and what we spent it on this year. Now, I got it. We don't make as much as those big YouTube channels, so no, we're not spending, you know, $100,000 or two or three, four or five hundred thousand dollars. We're not spending nearly that much. But the amount of money we did get is still a benefit to our farm. And it's all thanks to you viewers. We do appreciate it. And we hope that the content we're providing is not only educational for others, but also entertaining. Um, you know, if, if you're not entertaining, then people aren't gonna watch it. Very few people just wanna sit and watch and learn. But with that being said, I guess it's probably no surprise what we're gonna do since we have this old girl pulled up. The poll that we put on YouTube, which I'll show you right here. Out of all those votes we got, it was pretty well unanimous that we should decide. Well, I already put the answer that I really wanted on there. And that was quick hitching. We're changing this over. We talked about it when we first bought this tractor to change it over and make it to where it had the skid steer quick connect instead of the Westendorf style. Mainly because we can share implements between our skid steer and the tractor. The other thing that we ended up going with is a quick hitch for the rear of the tractor. Anytime you get to a point where you are messing with category three implements, it really becomes a hassle and a pain to get them hooked up. They're not like the category one stuff or even some of the category two stuff where you can wiggle the actual implement around and get it lined up perfectly. It's just not, not something you can do really with it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on real quick. Well, we won't name names, but somebody left the key on in the skid steer and it wasn't Bella. So, I didn't wait for that to charge up. I might see if me and Jason can lift that. It's, so this quick hitch right here weighs about 300 pounds. Uh, it is very heavy. May or may not be able to do it, I don't know. If not, we'll wait for the skid steer to charge up and we'll, we'll take care of it when we get back. I don't know how many of you have had Chick-fil-A sauce. It's delicious. However, it gets even better. If you buy the bottles like these, these caps unscrew and you can clean the whole thing out and put oil or WD-40 or kind of whatever you want to in it. I really like putting uh, WD-40 in it because you can spray, it's more for an area that you're gonna like cover the whole thing and it just works great. We don't want any confusion. People thinking that we have Chick-fil-A sauce in the shop that's edible. So there we go. Get there to hold it up.
y'all saw the other day we got this on i got to get a different pin that one's just the wrong size since it's quite a bit smaller than that uh eye on that three point if i were to pull something heavy you know say like a a disc uh a plow or anything that's really digging hard like a ripper it'll actually ruin that it'll oval out that ball and it'll ruin it so we do need to fix that and then we also need to got to rearrange the way these are running that way they're not getting caught in this when it goes up and down the bigger news the more important news really is that trenton's over here helping me convert this tractor over to skid steer quick hands and it's the same ones that our bobcat uses obviously so that means that all of my you know so the tree shear the bale forks the buckets so like i'd be able to use this big bucket once we weld the plate that's right here on the ground we'll be able to weld that on there and use that big bucket on the skid steer which makes cleaning the barn go much quicker because it's a lot larger i can scoop a lot more in one shot and in reality since the sawdust and manure is really not terribly heavy it's not a big deal because that's about a one yard bucket whereas the bucket that comes with the skid steer is a half a yard and when you have that full of gravel you know it it doesn't tip our skid steer it doesn't make it light you know in the back end terribly but it does make it lighter so i wouldn't be able to do it with say one this size so depending on the material i'm moving i'll definitely be able to use that bucket the other cool part is that from now on, everything we buy, all we're looking for is, is quick attach stuff, the skid steer style. Doesn't matter if I want to use them in the tractor, the bobcat don't matter. We're also going to run, won't be today, probably won't be for until later this year. I'm gonna take two hydraulic lines. So just like these, I'm gonna add two more that quick connect and I'll run this back to the rear of the tractor as well. And I'll be able to operate, say, the tree shear on the front of my tractor or like a grapple bucket, stuff like that. Uh, the reason I say later in the year is because I really want to put a joystick in here and make it much simpler to operate our loader. It operates fine the way it is, but obviously using the remotes compared to using a joystick, night and day difference as far as convenience. So, <laughs> now nah, you do it good. Man. Is that not clean enough? No, it's clean. I don't get that. Oh, just slide on it. Oh, you're covering it already, aren't you? No, no, never mind. Yeah, Trent's helped me out. He's way better with a stick welder than I am. I seem to burn through things, and today, I mean, you clearly know more what I do. So. You sent Trent here before. He's uh. He's actually going to school for welding. Does a really good job and it gives him some experience and it helps us out. So worst case scenario, if we make a mistake, yeah, we grind it off and we fix it. But so far we haven't had to do that. The other cool part about this design that we've come up with, this is a blank Westendorf. Um, it's like for an attachment. I bought a blank one that you would essentially weld onto like a bucket or whatever you're gonna use it on. I bought that so I could put these tubes on here. So these are on here because the distance between the center of this arm and that arm is 46 inches. I need it to be 44 inches from outside to outside on my skid steer hands. It'll make more sense if I show you over here. So on these, the outside of the actual skid steer quick hands to the other outside of the skid steer quick hands, right there, 44 inches is what this measures. Now the plates are all about 45 inches. Obviously that gives you a little bit of wiggle room and we wanna keep that. Next is where, you know, it's not gonna be a perfect tight, you know, inconvenient connection. Gives you some wiggle room so you don't have to be exact every time. That's just how they're designed. So like even this one, it's 45 inches from this side to the outside over there. And uh, yeah, now it will be a real pain to hook up. I mean, it was a pain to hook stuff up and disconnect stuff before on the Westendorf side. And it's just going to be because in the cab of this tractor, we'll go up there, I'll show you. You, you can't see 
and it's just how it is. So that's not really gonna make it much of a difference. It's still gonna be just as difficult as it was before. So right here, sitting in the cab of the tractor, and you just can't, you can barely see down here in this little crevice, I can barely see the front end right there. The same way on, on this side too. It's just not, you know, it's, it's just difficult, that's all. It, uh, you know, these tractors were never really designed for loader work. You know, they were designed for, for row cropping, for pulling discs, pulling planters, grain carts, etc. So, not really anything different than normal. We're just making it to where it's going to be a better fit for our operation. I need you guys to keep a secret from my wife. I need to get that new seal on this pinion. And... I'm gonna throw this in the freezer and I'm gonna put that in the oven. Basically to make that expand a little bit and not melt. And this to shrink because when metal gets cold, it shrinks down some, when it gets hot, it expands. So these will go on easy. I'm gonna put it in a bag so it don't make a mess, but I guess we'll find out if she watches the channel. We'll be able to grab our seal and basically just gently tap it on. See. A lot easier than last time. All put back in. All tightened back down like it's supposed to be. Made sure we didn't tighten it down too much because there's a crush ring in there for that pinion and if you tighten it farther than what it was originally you're going to cause some issues because your gear lash is no longer going to be right and we already set our gear lash when we did services back in uh well actually about a month ago the uh as you can see this seal had just seen better days just got old and basically was kind of chipping away at itself and leaking and it actually leaked so much that as soon as whenever i put my new oil back in my uh, rear end when I did my services it started leaking down this right away so we're going to just spin this and do some checking here and see what we get I don't know how you'll be able to see but $1,213.10 is what we made on revenue this year so January 1st of 2021 through December 31st of 2021 so last year but we're just, like I said, we're being upfront and honest with you guys, showing you exactly what we do. And overall, you know, you think about it, $1,200 for a year of recording videos of stuff that we're going to do already, that's a pretty good deal. The downside is the extra time. So it does take us a little extra time to make the videos because I'm going to stop, move cameras, go get batteries, etc. Lots of things change. That actually just proved my point because I just had to go change the battery in this camera to finish this part. But like I said, this is our channel's analytics, so it doesn't um, doesn't really change a whole lot. We've grown a little bit, but not tremendously. The 7,000 subscribers we have, that helps us be broadcast to more people, but the problem is, is that a lot of those subscribers came from um, you know listening to the Off the Husk podcast, and, you know, they wanted to come check our channel out, so they subscribed right away, which I do appreciate that. The downside is, is that most of those subscribers just don't watch content on a regular basis. Um, right here, this is where we're actually uploading a video right now. And uh, so you can see right down here where this um, mouse is at. So the video that posted yesterday, which was a bad probably day to post a video because the Super Bowl was on had 106 views, and then the one right below it had almost 1,000, and then we're back down to 434, and then, so it kinda fluctuates a lot. For the most part, I would say that we average right around 500-ish views per video, because there's some that just flop. People just didn't really, you know, they're not interested in it. And again, we're not gonna change it, we're still gonna put that content out, because of the simple fact that it is part of a farm. So, for instance, farming doesn't stop with the cold, that is a typical thing that happens here. 
farming is not always fun. It's not always joyful. You know, when it's cold and miserable out, I still have to go out there to check on them animals. Even if I don't want to go out and maybe work in the shop or anything, I still have to go check on them. That's just kind of an overview of how our channel works and, you know, what we make from it. As you've seen in there, so the money that we made this year primarily went to the conversion of the tractor to skid steer attachments. Also that three point quick attach hitch you've seen on the back of the 8030. And a couple of other minor little things. I bought a cigarette lighter um, set up to put in there that'll make it a, a better way to charge video or charge cameras for videos and uh, kind of keep you guys more on hand readily available for when we're working in the field. And lastly, the uh, tennis balls that you see Bella playing with a lot, those uh, rubber orange balls, she really likes those. However, she loses them a lot. And we try to put them back up in the shop or in the house. Uh, you know how it is sometimes she lays it down somewhere and we're in a hurry and we forget about it. Well, then a puppy gets it and takes it somewhere else and it's gone forever. But I hope you like the video and you know, I hope you're enjoying what we're doing with the channel. Um, we are open to suggestions of stuff that you guys would like to see on the channel. By all means, if, if you have anything like that, let us know. We will do our best to show whatever it is you're looking to see. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Have a blessed week and we'll see you next time.